we are going to go through the steps that you will need to follow to update your license information, uh, just in case if you are hosting this license at the license server, where you don't necessarily have any installation of our software, such as PTVVSIM, PTVVZoom, and PTVVistro could be found. First of all, if you do not have uh, the license, PTV license manager application installed, please go ahead and visit our download website, webpage, uh, which you can access uh, through this URL here, cgi.ptvgroup.com slash vision setup slash en. And once you get there, you can scroll all the way to the bottom until you find this section called PTV Vision License Management. Once you find that, I would strongly suggest to download this all versions license manager, parentheses server, and then like try to install it. Once you're done installing it, you can go ahead and try to find that uh, from the license server machine itself. So I typed in PTV license, and then you can find PTV license manager, parentheses server. Once I open it, this particular window will pop up uh, for PTV license manager. And uh, in here, you're gonna need to choose the product that you want to apply uh, update to its license on. There are four options to choose from. Uh, make sure that you choose the right one. And then you can choose the the language that you prefer and then hit start once you start uh, this license manager will start up and it will search through your system and uh, it'll show you what is available uh, as a license is to be updated or to be activated or deactivated so in my particular case i have one license you know that one particular license that is uh, that could be found uh, on my local computer and uh, which also functions as a license server. Now, uh, if you want to uh, apply that new activation or update to this to make sure that your Bing Maps uh, or you know, um, the users can have access to Bing Maps and everything, what you'll need to do is choose that particular license that you want to make update on and then click on this update license, update selected license button. Once you click on that, it will go through the pro those processes and it will apply an update uh, for you automatically. If you have multiple licenses hosted on this in this particular computer, you're going to, need to repeat the same process for each licenses. Click one and then click on click select one of those licenses and click on this update selected license button. And once you're done um, applying that all those updates line by line, you can hit close and then you're done. Uh, one thing that um, you may want to keep in mind though is that like while you're trying to install this new license manager and the code meter runtime, it definitely will disconnect uh, those like in the license server. I mean, and um, those users who might have been using this. Uh, checking out who might have been checking out license from the server, may will lose connection for a couple of minutes. So you may want to, you know, give them a fair warning that there'll be a, you know, um, a bit of a disconnect. Thank you. And if you have any other questions or if you, uh, if this particular process didn't work for you, uh, please uh, contact us by using our help desk portal, which you can access via support.ptvgroup.com. Again, support.ptvgroup.com. Thank you.